This has got to be the fastest. I'm just putting things up and starting off, but that's the beauty of this show. In the clipping, stop clipping. Good evening, welcome back to In the Could. Today is July 17th, 2022, 8:26 p.m. That's 2026. I had initially, yes, in yesterday's vlog, thought that I won't document anything on Sunday, but uh, why not? I have just set up everything so nicely that there's literally no friction in just starting to record and then editing it and uploading it. So I might as well do it. The name of this vlog, this is now a forever project and. And I'm just gonna quickly go through a few thoughts that I wrote down today and a few improvements I did in scripting. Before anything, today I again woke up at 10.30 so two consecutive days I slept for over 10 hours sound. I don't remember the last time that happened so I feel really rejuvenated and like really excited to get back to the grind from tomorrow. NT Productions, I saw the recent video that he uploaded, the coding challenge video. I did not find a lot of use of it like making a video player in a script but could be useful when you want to add images into the script. The second thing I noted is I want to uh, see his videos, NT Productions' videos on extensions when there comes a time where I want to like really sell my scripts through ascripts.com or through my own website or however, I need to bundle it in the form of an extension which has a proper login and like proper security features in it. For that, I really need to know how to make extensions. So not just these scripts that are lockable, but HTML, CSS, JavaScript integrated programs. Now, this is a chunk acknowledging ITK. I want to take time to acknowledge the number of things that have worked out well because of the in the code blog which is why this is now a forever project part of the day so i've basically made in the code a part of my day just like brushing your teeth is part of the day you don't start off your day i don't start off my day without it don't end it without it just like that from 8 to like in the morning 9 o'clock and then in the evening 8 o'clock to 8 30 is the time where i can record it 8 39 is when i can edit it and i go to my gym and it's a part of my day secondly uploading to youtube if i had thought of a thing where i just record it and document it and put it in my hard drive excuse me i would literally have no motivation to keep doing this but the fact that i am uploading into youtube and over time i can see these number of videos piling up that is my real motivation to keep making and of course we also have this point that we covered in the very first video that uh, at some point down the line people are going to watch these videos and feel inspired like look at my journey of how things evolved i will myself look at my journey and that will give me the strength to keep moving forward writing scripting more the time i'm spending writing and in turn scripting in notion has increased exponentially like look at this page for example i have made all these toggles and within toggles there are a thousand toggles and I've written so many words like the word count on this particular page is I don't know that's weird it's 220 it doesn't show the whole page I think like you'll have to open all the toggles to see that like if I close this toggle sorry the word count here is coming to 97 so it's it's basically counting the outside the toggle so alt control t does not work for some reason to open all the toggles but anyway I've been writing a lot more scripting a lot more which is very important when I want to get to a point where I actually write, start writing my own book because only when you keep writing can you actually write cubic words there is no other way i would have been so dedicated and like have so much of accountability to completing a course if it wasn't for this vlog every single day i'm recording my progress where i am actually even showing where i'm good in progress where the week was this is one another important thing that i did not feel like this week went away in a blink i know exactly how it went like it was i can now sit and make sense of life if i keep doing this as a forever project life is gonna be documented it's gonna be vlogged it's gonna be there for me to look back and see and learn but at the same time it's not gonna pass away just like that and there are obvious improvements which is like the recording workflow you no know, con having constraints five minute constraints okay this is gonna go to 10 minutes but that's okay because we just have one video five minute constraints that's a beautiful way to record videos in the first place even for my main channels i don't want to spend like earlier what i used to do is just put the camera on and i'm doing time pass and it's a 30 minute video out of which i have to craft out a 10 minute edit that's a pain to do so that's not happening editing workflow multicam is so flawless right now everything is just happening so fast and the editions that i'm doing with motion graphics are amazing as well i feel like i'm on a vacation <laughs> and i just uh, said this in the very beginning that i'm energized and looking forward to tomorrow's grind now getting back to the grind from tomorrow a little life update so one point i want to give life update here is i am currently not taking up actively taking up freelance work i was up until like like last month or so but then i had two particular encounters or incidents where i really regretted having taken those projects up i felt like i would have been so much better off if i did not take them up thankfully i'm currently at a position in my life where my full-time job and my dad's work are financially giving me the amount of freedom and security to have free time which i can then invest into this vlog this vlog is obviously a part of the day the purpose of this vlog as i said in the very first in the very first video is to build my main channel and 
and click reflect i can keep all that extra time that the third pillar instead of it having to be freelance which is like a lot of mental stress and unnecessary things i can use that third pillar to build these three channels up and that is what i really want to do making videos is something that i've always loved to do and i don't want to put it into a mold of this is something i have to do for work improving in the code from this video onwards i'm adding a pop sound wherever you see the text coming up so we can have a little bit of sfx going on as well which is going step by step by step up ae scripting now this is very important here i'm going to take some time to mention this this is the thing i had gotten stuck with earlier as well where you follow nt productions is tutorial on textile word to word and still doesn't work the key is that text prop dot set value text document this needs to be written after all the styles and stuff have been applied and also one more thing that i uh, noticed i'm just going to quickly show that to apply text you don't need to make a text document i will just open wait we can zoom in right nice okay this is good we can just have a layer a, a variable that's referring to the selected layer first layer whatever layer then you have a text prop this is basically this layers is dot property source text so that we don't have to keep writing this okay now you just make a variable text document is this random any variable and then give it text prop dot value now this variable you add dot font dot reset care style or whatever whatever things that are in the documentation and then in the end this is just one thing you have to do in order to make sure that this works text property dot set value and inside that put this thing this way the name of that variable this is all you need to do to change the font of a text to change tracking and leading and paragraphs everything of the text and this is something i had gotten confused so you don't have to make a very new object called capital t text and capital d document you that's not needed at all even this works this just works fine yeah this is one more thing i found out which uh, there is no information about on the internet how to find match name for any font in after effects dot write ln text document again this text document which is a text prop dot value dot font okay you just write ln in the console you'll get that i think f4 brings up the console or maybe because of the zoom mm, that's weird standard files added textiles or gsx and basic ui which is non-dockable i added these two standard files just for reference in future so a lot of progress i made today in a scripting i'm currently working towards making that timeline script which is very important right it's gonna have a lot of versions and implementations along the way it's a lot of fun like if today I, I just kept doing this and i had no track of time or whatever was happening so hope you've exceeded 10 minutes so uh nothing in cubic worlds today we'll get, i'm gonna get straight to it uh from tomorrow small things i've learned to maximize a window in windows window key plus up arrow and window key plus down arrow minimizes it uh that's a nice short content for short content i think we can do a lot of window key related stuff so window plus d gets you desktop window plus i don't know uh q does something short form content but yeah that's pretty much it for today's vlog uh, cheers to consistency vlog number eight up on the channel editing it in the next 30 minutes and uploading it thank you so much for being in the code i will see you tomorrow peace